Welcome to my week 4 game of the third season in the BHDL Pokemon Draft League. My name is Scorpion and today my team, the Leaf Agents, are taking on Sneezy Wims, coach of the Whimsical Whimsicots. I'll show you guys a quick overview of my team, why I chose these Pokemon and the Wi-Fi battle will follow. But first, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Now Sneeze is actually a very good friend of mine and his team is what some people consider to be the best in the whole league. He's got a very strong physical attacker in Palafin, who also packs amazing priority with Jet Punch. He's also got two amazing Rapid Spinners to keep off hazards with Tentacruel and Iron Treads, a very solid defensive pivot in Rotom Heat, and two amazing Terra Captains with Flygon and Espeon. So let's take a look at the team we are bringing to take on our Week 4 opponent. First off, I noticed that the combination of Fairy and Fighting was very difficult to switch into for my opponents, so naturally I wanted to bring Choice Specs Iron Valiant. Moonblast and Aura Sphere is sufficient coverage to pretty much hit the whole team neutrally, except for Tentacruel, which is covered by Thunderbolt. I also gave a Trick as the last move, because that way we both give ourselves the option of both being able to cripple a wall, as well as free ourselves of Choice Restriction. Iron Valley and Speed Tier is also perfect for this matchup, as it outspeeds the whole unboosted opposing team. And speaking of Speed Tiers, we have another Pokemon that outspeeds my opponent's entire team, and really puts the hurt on them with a Life Orb attacking set, that being Cyclozar. With the Life Orb and 100 special attack EVs, we guarantee we 2-hit KO a defensive Overquill with Draco Meteor, and 1-hit KO an offensive Iron Tread with Overheat. I also gave it Power Whip, because with the 196 at attack EVs, we are able to really put the hurt on that thing, most notably putting in KO range of the many priority moves we have. And U-Turn lets us switch around to keep up momentum, while also denting Pokemon like Shaman and Espeon really hard. So those are our offensive mods, but to have a little bit of a line of defense against some of my opponent's physical attackers, mainly the Palafin, we are bringing defensive Max HP Impish Hisui and Samurott. The Leftovers keeps us healthy, and thanks to our 68 defensive ease, we are most notably never to be killed by even a Palafin's Drain Punch, even when it's in hero form. Most of the moves are just utility, with Aqua Jet for important priority to hit the Iron Threads, and Ceaseless Edge to get up spikes. The Leftovers also helps us stay out of range of dangerous attacks, also most notably allowing us to live Iron Threads' Supercell Slam. Because my opponent packs a lot of water types as their offensive mons, and its speed tier becomes amazing with a Choice Scarf, I wanted to bring Terra Grass Torterra this week. With Terra Grass, Overgrow and Woodhammer, we really put the order of the opposing team, and that allows us to outspeed and one-hit KO Palafin, as well as really dent Pokemon like Iron Shreds and Tentacruel. I also give it a Headlong Rush to hit Overquill, and Stone Edge to hit Rotom Heat, as those are pretty much the only two switch-ins. I don't really need much other coverage, but I also gave it Double Edge to potentially hit Shaman as hard as possible if we need to in the endgame. Next, I also wanted a switch in and a pivot that I could switch into Pokemon like Shaman, Espeon and Rotom Heat, and keep up momentum with U-Turn. So for that, we are bringing back Assault Vest Thunder Hysterion. With 180 special attack EVs, we are able to 2 kill Palafin and Tentacruel with Discharge, and 2 kill a defensive Shaman with Sludge Wave, while once again we keep up momentum with U-Turn. We have a Sassy Nature and 21 speed IVs, that way we are slower than the entire opposing team, which helps us keep up that momentum and get, up our get in our choice Pokemon for free. I also gave it knockoff to potentially be able to cripple opponents and knock off important items. And lastly, to round off the team, I really wanted to try Stealth Rock this week, but because my opponent has a lot of uh, good Rapid Spinners this week, I needed to try to get innovative. But we are luckily packing a very strong rocker into my opponent's team, being physically defensive Bronzong. This most notably allows us to 1v1 Iron Treads with Iron Defense and Body Press, and also have a little extra line of defense against the Choice Band Palafin. Stealth Rocks are important, like I mentioned, and the 12 special attack EVs with Psy Shock most notably allow us to 1v1 Palafin and 2-shot on its weaker defense. The Leftovers also helps us even more, no, most notably sticking around for the, for the end game if Bronzong has to be the one to finish the job. And that's my team for week 4 of the BHDL Pokemon Draft League. Once again, I hope if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it most notably not only helps my channel grow, but the Pokemon draft scene as a whole, which is very nice. For now, I want to thank you all for watching the tutorial section, and I've held you all up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. Alright folks, it is time. Leaf Agents versus Whimsical Whimsicots. We're going up against my boy Steezy today, one of my best friends. I'm super excited to battle him. I have no idea what he's going to bring, but if there's anyone who knows how I play, it's honestly this guy. So I'm actually very, very excited for this one. Good luck and have fun to the homie Sneezy Wims. And uh, I believe that he is searching already, so so will I. Let me see to write down what he has. 
That'll be a very interesting battle, this one is. There he is. Let me ride down to see what monster he's going to be bringing, because I'm sure he's got some heat for me. Let's see what he has. He's got the Iron Treads. Treads, he's got the Brodom Heat. He has brought the Shame in. Interesting. Uh, Espeon. Uh, Palafin. And the Flygon. So both Terra Captains are here. That is very scary. I have no idea what he's going to leave with. Maybe the Palafin to try and get that active straight away. Um, however, I... He didn't bring the Tentacruel, which is interesting. And there's also no... Um, what else didn't show up? There's no... Uh, Actually, I think this is pretty much more, more, more so what I was expecting, except I guess, yeah, I guess the shaman over the tentacle wasn't really what I was expecting. But uh, yeah, some heat. Uh, I kind of struggle with to lead off with this in this matchup, but I feel pretty comfortable about my Torterra, because obviously he's going to want to try to get his Palafin in hero mode straight away. And uh, if he does, then we even we might be able to snag a KO on him straight away. And even if we don't, um, a, a Terra Grass Woodhammer is going to hurt something really hard. So I'm actually going to lead off with Torterra, Terra straight away, and just fire off a Woodhammer. Um... I do actually feel more comfortable in this game being a pure grass type than being a grass ground type uh, because it lets me resist uh, Palafin's jet punch. So I think that's what we'll solve, what we'll try and do. And uh, yeah, we'll see what he wants to do. He is going to lead off with Iron Treads. All right, that's interesting. As we lead off with our Torterra. So we could try to KO this thing straight away. Is that, is that something we want to try and do? Let's see, do I KO this thing? Let's see, uh, against the standard Iron Treads. So Headlong Rush has a 26.5% chance to Oko. I think I do like that. Uh, I think I do like going for it. I definitely do want to Terra straight away. Um, he could definitely go into Rotom Heat, but if he does, then we have a switch in uh, in the form of our Thunderous. And if he goes Flygon, we can go Bronzong. So I think what I'll do is I'll just Terra Grass straight away and I'll go for the Headlong Rush. We'll see what he wants to do. He does stay in, beautiful. So we'll try and find out some information. And this should... Do we outspeed here? I actually don't know. Do we outspeed? Uh, let's see, get rid of the booster energy. Uh, we should outspeed, yeah, by one point, so that's perfect. So we're going to Terra Grass straight away. See if we can get the KO with Headlong Rush straight away. we we'll go for the Headlong Rush. Ooh, nearly missed the KO, unfortunate. So we are going to get our defenses lowered. So that could be a defensive Iron Tread, let's see. He's Rocky Helmet, okay, so that's definitely more of a defensive one. He goes for Ice Spinner, that's fine though. A minus one that shouldn't do much to us. Oh my god. Okay, we ne nearly get taken down. That's wild. Luckily, we tear it there. Um, hmm, let's see. So what do I want to do? I definitely don't want to lose my Torterra, that's for sure. Although we are now in range of that jet punch, which is unfortunate. Um, I could go into my Samurott here. That's actually a pretty safe play, right? Yeah, because I can Aqua Jet him after. I'm actually going to say definitely save Torterra and go for my uh, Samurott here. We can pick him off with Aqua Jet. That's got to be a more defensive Iron Tread to survive that headlong rush. That's wild. Oh, he's going to withdraw himself. Okay. Let's see what he wants to do. Does he go into Rotom Heat? He does go Rotom Heat. Okay. So, uh, on this, we always have to go Thunderous, I think. Um, because, unfortunately, uh, yeah, we're not exactly Scarfed. We're going to die to a Volt Switch. So, in this, we go Hard Thunderous always. Let's see. So, Thunderous, or sorry, uh, Iron Treads is defensive. Got it. Rocky Helmet as well. That switch does make sense. Let's see what he goes for. Maybe he goes for a Volt Switch. If he does, we can absorb that very, very easily. Thunderbolt, perfect. We have the Volt Absorb for that. So we're going to do that. And we could go for a knockoff. We could go for U-turn. I'm actually pretty f feeling pretty comfortable with knockoff, to be honest. Because um, it will get rid of this thing's item. And we will get momentum, or sorry, because he can't really touch me anyway, right? I'm actually going to go for one knockoff. Just sort of upkeep that, uh, just get rid of an item. If he goes for Iron Treads, Shadow Bar, that's fine. It should bounce off of us. See how much he does. Oh, he gets a crit too. Okay, so that's definitely defensive, because even a crit did nothing. Get rid of a knockoff, that's a nice chip. Get rid of its leftovers. That's really good. Uh, now, I don't really see much of a reason not to just go for a U-turn. My Thunderous has a tendency of getting crit, apparently. Right, he goes for a Will, that's fine. Thunderous gets burned. Let's see, I'm Rotom Heat. 
is defensive. Gotcha. Got that U-turn. Still get a little bit of a nice chip. Leftovers are gone. And let's see, now we could go into our um, Cyclozar, drop a Draco. We could go into our Iron Valiant, fire off an Aura Sphere. I think I actually quite like that. I think Aura Sphere is going to do a lot here, no matter what. Um, yeah, we'll go for Iron Valiant. We'll fire off an Aura Sphere, because that should kill this thing. Let's see. Against Rotom Heat. Uh, yeah, Aura Sphere should take him out from here. Yep, so we'll go for that. Unless he's got some mixed in uh, investment. Yep, there we go. Iron Valiant kills were on perfect. Specs coming through. Another kill for Valiant, boys. So we take the early lead on this one. That Iron Choice did a lot more with Ice Spear than I was expecting, though, to be fair. That's wild. Alright, so in comes the Palafin. How much do we do? Uh, let's see, this could be... This could be AV. Or Sphere still does about half to him, even if he's like Assault Vest. I think I'm fine going for another Or Sphere, because there's no way you take me out, right? I don't think so. Or is it too risky to leave Palafin? Or is it too risky to leave Valiant in against this thing? Not in baby form, surely. I'll go for one Or Sphere, see what he does. Maybe he withdraws straight away. He definitely could. Yeah, he does withdraw. Okay, so he gets that thing in hero mode. That's fine. But we do get another Specs Aura Sphere off, which is really cool. As Iron Treads comes out, right? So that thing dies as well. Beautiful. So Treads also dies to Valiant. Beautiful. Two KOs for Valiant, boys. Let's go. One more, and we tie Emerald Miner's score from last season already, which is pretty cool, because he had six KOs with it. All right, Palafin comes back in. This is a scary situation. What do we do in this case? Because uh, I have actually seen Sneezy's games. He definitely has. He has actually brought special Palafin once. Um, so I think I actually like going into my Samurott the most just to scout for what he wants to do. So I'm actually going to do that because I'm a physically defensive Samurott. But even I don't think we take much from this thing, even if it's a special set. And there's no way you go for a fighting type move here. So we're going to a Samurott here. Let's see. Wave crash. Okay, so he is. Is he choice banned? Oh my god, that's choice band as hell. Okay, that was a crit too. Okay, so, okay, so that's not the end of the world. We definitely can live that. We obviously get a little bit of leftover recovery, but that is definitely choice band, right? That's hella choice band. Let's check the damage. Samurai Hisui, Wave Crash. Yeah, that's hella choice band. That is 100% choice band. Alright, so here we see Ceaseless Edge always. Once again, it spikes up. Oh, you wait, so no, she's no choice band? Wow, okay, that's wild. Right, we go for a Caesar's Edge. This should do some good damage. Yup, nice. Get some spikes up. Okay, so I crit, the crit must have a very high uh, damage modifier then there. Uh, do I die to another facade? I actually don't know. How much does Sucker Punch do? I don't, I don't even have Sucker Punch. What am I about? Um, let's see. So I could try to save Samurott. I could also try to live a facade. However, I don't know if I do. Uh, hang on, so, okay, so let me take this away. Let's see, facade. I'm just gonna assume that he's max attack adamant, right? And I am on 59 HP. Let's see, do I die? Facade. Uh, I shouldn't, no. Why is this thing so strong? Oh wait, this is Palafin baby form, whoops. That's why I was calculating it wrong. Uh, so it has a 31. If he's max attack adamant, it has a 31% chance to Oko me. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna risk it because I don't need Samurai for much else. I'm gonna go for another, another Caesar's Edge. See if we can live. One Samurai, you got this. Yes, we got it. Nice. Caesar's Edge comes off. We don't miss either. Beautiful. Samurai KOs Palafin. That's awesome. And we get two layers of spikes up too. Mate, these EV spread, these exact EVs, bro. Th brothers, this is why you, um, this is why you prep using the calc. Alright, Palafin dies to Samurott. But our team is definitely getting weakened, so let's uh, let's try not to lose to a Flygon in the endgame. That's scary. Alright, Shaman comes out. Uh, I don't know what I want to do against this thing. I mean, I don't really see... A, I don't really see much... Of, do I want to save Samurott for an Aqua Jet later? Because Thunderous is a pretty safe switch in either way, right? Uh, how much do I do with Valiant? I need to make sure that he's uh, like in KO range. 
Uh, let's see, Iron Valiant against Shaman. Uh, Specs Moonblast is about 65 to 77. So I definitely need a little bit of chipper damage off on this thing. However, I think a U-turn will accomplish that nicely. I think I can afford to keep Samurai around, around as a sack. I could also go Bronzong, but I think I'd rather keep that healthy for the Flygon. So I'm actually going to make the Thunderous play. Because this thing should, because Seed Flare should do absolutely nothing to me. And then we can U-turn. I try to get Valiant in. Let's see. Right, Thunderous comes out. Trailblaze, okay. That should do nothing to me. Let's see, is he Life Orb or anything? No, I don't. we don't see a Life Orb. Alright, let's go for... Uh, I think we could go for Sludge Wave. I think, we're, I think I'd rather U-turn, though, because we don't we don't KO this thing. Play rough. Ooh, is a physical shame in? That's wild. Alright, we U-turn. Get some good chip off. So he does have Play rough. So if we don't KO with Valiant, we could be in trouble. Hmm. I could go Cyclozar as well and Overheat. However, does Shaman even KO me with Play rough? Hang on. Because we didn't see a Life Orb, right? Let's see. Um, yeah, that. And then uh, Play Rough. He is also faster than me now. I need to not forget that. Uh, play Rough... Yeah, can't, should not knock me out, ever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think he should be in range of Specs Moonblast now. Could also go Cyclozar. How much, how much am I doing? Cyclozar... Overheat. Overheat is doing more, actually. I think I actually should go Cyclozar. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go Cyclozar. It's less, it's less risky. Actually, wait. I just completely forgot again. This thing has a speed boost. What am I doing? Uh, but Play Rough should not knock me out. It's it's going to do a lot of damage. We might die to Life Orb after this. Uh, but it should not knock us out with Play Rough. So we'll go for Overheat here. Swords Dance. Ooh, greedy play. That's a really cool set, though. Hopefully we don't miss this. If we miss this overheat, we could be in serious trouble. All right, overheat comes off. We do we do land it very luckily. And Shaman goes down. Nice. So Cyclozar gets a KO. I bet he was not expecting that. Alright, so Cyclozar, KO, Shaman. Alright, Flygon comes out. This is where we need to be seriously, seriously, seriously careful. Uh, because we could drop a Draco on this thing, however, uh, that's more than likely not going to be the case. I'm just going to U-turn, scout for damage, and I think we'll go into our, um, into our Bronze Song. He does Terra. Let's see what Terra he is. I don't think Espion is that much of a threat, but this thing is definitely is. It's Terra Bug. Ooh, oh wait, is he going to go for First Impression? Oh dear. Is he going to go for First Impression? That'd be wild. Let's see. He does go for first impression. Let's see. Do we die? That's a, that's a sick deck. Do, we, do I die? I do die. Wow. Okay. So Cyclozar dies to Flygon. Uh, I need to see. Can he actually do that always? Okay. So he's life up. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Cyclozar dies to uh, Flygon. I love Terra Buck first impression sets. That's actually really, really cool. Uh, how much do I do? Let's see. Uh, Flygon... Uh, let's see, when he's Terra Bug against my Iron Valiant. Do I KO him with Specs Moonblast? Uh, I should, yeah. I have a very, very good shot at killing with Specs Moonblast, so we'll go for it. Our team is getting very, very weak, though, so... Sneezy's honestly keeping doing, being, doing a very job of keeping up. Alright, uh, here we definitely Moonblast. I hope it kills. Maybe he's got some, if he's got some leftover HP EVs, maybe it might not. Um, but Valiant does outspeed the whole team here. Unless he has to be on a Scarf. We know this thing isn't. Alright, Moonblast comes off. Let's see. Specs Moonblast. Nice, Chaos Flygon. So all we have to do with the Sylveon now. This is a quick game. Although, not gonna lie, even though this is a very, very fast-paced game. Let's see, uh, Flygon dies to uh, Valiant. Alright, Espeon comes out. Um, I think we... Hmm. So he could definitely be... Some scary set. Uh, I think... I think what I'll do is I'll sack off... Let's see, what am I okay with dying here? Actually, do I kill with Specs Moonblast? I could just kill him, right? Uh, let's see, Espeon. Let's just say Calm Mind. Uh, level 50. Two layers of spikes. That's with boots. Oh. Uh, Moonblast is a guaranteed Oko. Do we risk it? 
I say we risk it. Come on. We ball. Yes, sir. So that's that KO's SP on. That was a quick game. Honestly, though, these standings do not reflect what happened here, I feel like. Because he actually got my team super, super weak. Like, I feel like if he had one more Mon, he could have been in trouble. But GG's to my boy Sneezy. I really do like your team. Really, really cool uh, sets and techs, obviously. Especially the Terra Bug uh, Flygon. That was sick. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this one. I really hope you enjoyed. And, um... Yeah, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know that down in the comment section below what is your favorite Ali Iron Valiant set for draft, because this is probably mine. Um, again, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys back in week 5, where we're going to be taking on Rolder, coach of the Down Under Crocodiles. Look forward to that. Peace, guys.